guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. If you can tell, I have some balloons behind me. We just recently finished Aubrey's fifth birthday party. It is a disaster in here and uh, it is the night before I am posting this video. So there's no way I'm getting to the party prep video editing and all of that stuff because I was still filming today. And we are going to be filming a like party cleanup video now. Juan just left with the kids to bring them to the park. I feel like he drew a really good straw because I told him, you don't have to do any work cleaning up. I just need you to take the kids away and go somewhere go to a park, let them get their energy out, and I will take care of it all. So I'm hoping that he is appreciative of that situation, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna be cleaning up soon. But before I do, I just had like a couple things I wanted to like update you guys on. I'll give you a quick glance at like some of the highlights. I'm particularly proud of the cake that I made. It was the first time I made a unicorn cake and I think it turned out like really good and everyone seemed to like the flavor as well. Aubrey liked chocolate peanut butter or she asked for chocolate peanut butter this time around. And I think overall everyone like had like, had a good time, enjoyed it. Uh, the I made some mini unicorn horn candies. They're like pretzels with soft caramel wrapped around it and then dipped in chocolate. Those were a hit, like they were, they cleared me out. They took many hours to make, but I'm so glad that they were enjoyed by all. So that was definitely a highlight. And just, um, we collaborated with Wernsai, I believe that's still how you pronounce it, but we collaborated with them. We got a lot of really awesome items to use for the party, pinatas, games. So I will definitely do like a full detailed description of everything in our Get It All Done. But let me show you guys, um, in terms of our chickens, a little update on that. You guys are attached to my fridge right now. And inside my fridge is a very small egg. And it was like such an odd thing for one of our chickens to lay. So let me get that and show you this weird egg. Okay, so just for comparison, I have a like standard egg that is laid by our chickens. And the other day we got this little guy. Look at the size difference. I don't know if it's gonna focus on this. Here we go, maybe. Look at the size difference of those eggs. It is crazy. Like I feel like this is gonna be mostly yolk with a teeny bit of egg white. I'm not really ready to like crack it open and see. Uh, maybe I'll save that in another video, but I'm just like, it's gotta be like half the size of a normal egg. And sometimes we get eggs that are even larger than this. So it just seems really odd that our chicken would lay such a small egg. But speaking of chickens, let's go and check out the chicks. We got new baby chicks like two weeks ago now, I think. And they have changed significantly from that one video that I shot. I did like say hi to our chickens in a previous video. We got a glance at them. And I'm starting to think one of the yellow ones is a rooster and I'll explain why in a bit. But let's go ahead and see these new little baby chicks. All right, be very happy that you cannot smell through this screen because it is disgusting in here. But these are our chickens. Hey, little guys. I don't know if I can call you ladies yet. They've definitely got a lot of their big bird feathers. The black ones are gonna be striped. So I wanna say the yellow one that's in the screen now, like the comb, which is that little bumpy thing on its forehead, that is significantly bigger than the comb on that yellow bird. And so I kind of feel like this little guy is a rooster, but I really don't know. We're still, that's still up in the air. And the combs on the black birds, which I believe are Dominiques, I think that's the breed. They're a little bit smaller. So hopefully they are hens because they would be technically the egg layers of the bunch. Something else to notice is like the feathers on the one with the bigger comb, the one on the right, the feathers are a lot longer. Whereas the bird on the left, like that, fe those feathers are definitely different. Like they're smaller. So I definitely think that one's going to be a girl. And I think that guy's a rooster. Pretty certain. I really can't tell with you guys. I really hope you're hens. 
but Juan did end up purchasing them a little food container and a water container because they were making a mess, which didn't seem to fix the problem. And like I said, just be really happy that you guys can't smell this because I hate coming in our garage now. <laughs> So let's get out of this smelly garage. Hopefully that door will like get the smell out. But I have one other update is in our kitchen, we got a new dining table set. Uh, one of our chairs is out here. It's like this dark brown. And so what we ended up doing, like I said, I have a lot to clean, but we took our rug out from our family room area and we moved it into our dining room area. Ta-da! It's, it's a really worn out rug, like it, it's old. So we kind of, I kind of figure at least if it gets stained, if it gets dirty, like it's fine. We'll end up getting a new one. We have a new rug coming for the family area, hopefully on Tuesday. So hopefully that'll come because without it, our couch just like slides around the room and it's kind of annoying. So anyways pushing that back where it's supposed to be. But we have our new table here. It's like I said, very messy, but it is extended and it can collapse another like two feet. It can get two feet shorter, but for the balloon arch, I definitely wanted it to be longer so that the arch didn't like snap or break. But you can kind of see like our insert starts here ends here and then we got our nice long table we got a bench to go with it and Aubrey's already put some scratches in it she likes to like when we're at Starbucks because the tables are more grimy she like scratches them and I try to tell her to stop but she has this tendency to want to scratch things so unfortunately they already have some like little nicks in them but I was I'm trying to like remind myself like this is not a table we're gonna keep for 30 years like we have kids things are gonna get ruined and then we can invest in like a nicer table of the things that we're buying you know as most furniture is it's pricey it's not like 20 bucks but you know we're not going like over the top and spending something on spending money on something like super expensive so I'm trying not to feel bad about it but you guys will be seeing this new table in our videos from now on and as I got up to, you know, look at what I needed to clean, I noticed Aubrey's gifts and that reminded me of a very unfortunate situation. So, uh, I, Aubrey was so eager to open her gifts. And when we were younger, like at our birthday parties, we would have like a scheduled time to open them in front of everyone. But I also recognize that that can put a kid in an uncomfortable position. Like what if they don't like a gift? Or, you know, what if they already have one and then they shout it out in front of everyone? Like, it's kind of embarrassing or it can be embarrassing. But at the same time, like, you kind of want to see the reaction. So I'm kind of torn on whether to whether or not to have, like, a scheduled let's open gifts time and everyone can watch. Or if we can just do that after the party when it's all calmed down. Well, that was my intention, to do the latter. We were going to have Aubrey, like, open her gifts. And I was going to write down, like, what you know, everyone, every person gave so I can write very specific thank you notes. Well, I walked one of my friends to her car. She had a newborn baby, um, or not newborn, but to me feels newborn. <laughs> uh, she had a baby and I wanted to like walk her to her car and say goodbye. So I leave the room with the kids with Juan. And when I get back, all the presents have been already torn apart. I don't know who gave what. And now I'm like, I had a breakdown because I want, I have thank you cards like prepared and I want to make them personal, but now I can't. Like I, I literally came into the room a few minutes later and everything was already opened and separated from the cards. So I'm gonna try my best to guess what everyone gave, but in some ways I get to write like just a generic thank you card, which I'm sure will be appreciated because people don't really write thank you cards anyways anymore. So, I'm sure it'll be appreciated, but it just like, 
it made me break down because that was like one thing I was saying, like, wait to open the gifts. Like, I want to write down thank you card stuff. So if you have had a breakdown because your kids didn't listen to you and opened gifts without you seeing them, uh, please let me know in the comments so I know I'm not alone. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video here because I definitely have a lot of cleaning to do and I need to edit this video, just kind of piece it all together. So I got a lot to do today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video and seeing my face because you don't always get to see my face. And uh, then stay tuned. I have an organizing video, a party prep video or videos. Let me know if you guys would rather have something like really long and includes everything, which I think is where I'm leaning towards. Or if you've liked it in the past when I've done like just the food and then the activities and decorations like as separate videos. If you really want that, let me know down in the comments. Kind of gives me more videos to put out. But anyways, I have that video. We'll have the cleanup video. I have um, some other ideas like breakfast meal, uh, you know, prep with me or whatever coming up. So lots to come. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for your prayers. I've been feeling very peaceful about my miscarriage. I think I went through the stages of grief rather quickly. And I don't know if that's because I shared with so many people and just gotten so much prayers, you know, said for me, but I, I just, I attribute it to the prayers because I've, I feel very peaceful about everything. Obviously I wish Taylor was here, but, um, you know, I just, I want to thank you guys for your prayers, for your support, for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.